we want to use implicit differentiation to differentiate x cubed minus 3x squared y equals 4. If we differentiate x cubed, we're going to get 3x squared. If we differentiate 3x squared y, we have a product. So if we let u equal 3x squared and we let v equal y, when we differentiate u, we're going to get 6x. And when we differentiate y we're going to get dy dx so that differential will be u dv dx plus v du dx so if we put all of that together whenever we differentiate we get 3x squared minus 3x squared dy dx minus 6yx equals 0 now we need to manipulate this. 3x squared minus 6xy will equal 3x squared dy dx. There's an x in every term, so those will cancel. There is a 3 in every term, so those will cancel, which leaves us with x minus 2y equals x dy dx. So dy dx is x minus 2y all over x. To find the stationary point, that is when dy dx equals 0. So that will happen when x equals 2y. If we go back to the original equation, x cubed minus 3x squared y equals 4. And we have that x equals 2y, so 2y cubed minus 3 upon 2y squared y equals 4. So 8y cubed minus 12y cubed equals 4, minus 4y cubed equals 4, y cubed equals minus 1. So y would be minus 1 and x would be minus 2. So we have a stationary point at minus 2, minus 1. What we now need to do is prove whether it's a maximum or a minimum. dy dx was x minus 2y all over x. So that's our u and our v. du dx will be 1 minus 2 dy dx. And v dv dx will be 1. So the second differential will be v du dx minus u dv dx all over v squared. And we know that x equals minus 2, y equals minus 1, and dy dx equals 0. So let's substitute those in. d2y dx squared will equal minus 2 upon 1 minus 0 minus x minus 2y all over x squared. So that's minus 2. Take away 0 over 4, which is minus 1 half, less than 0. So we have a maximum.